Welcome to the part of the video where I spin a fan for 20 minutes. Just kidding. Uh, that's too much in show. Let's go. Put that SSD in a power book. Yeah. Obviously, the first step to a safe laptop hardware upgrade is to fucking take the battery out. And will this work? Eh. E. This is a nice cheap third party battery which came with the laptop. If you've watched my unboxing video, um, Basically, me being really broken. That doesn't work anyway, so I'm just over there. Cool. Right, this is the RAM door, where the RAM will be going eventually. But, kind of irrelevant to us today. Well, I say irrelevant, I mean, we are going to be putting RAM in it, but we're taking the whole fucking thing apart first, so we can just forget about it for now. Let's go! Right, I have adjusted the lighting so we can see a little better. And we're going to start this disassembly process. The problem is the 12 inch power books are known to be one of the worst computers ever if you want to take it apart at any point. I'm pretty sure this is going to be absolute hell to get to the hard drive. But I might be pleasantly surprised. One thing that fucking pissed me off to find out when I was looking up how to fucking take these things apart is you, the fucking airport is right here, look. You don't even need a fucking screwdriver to take that out. And you just pop the battery out and it's there. Why can't they put the fucking hard drive here? All this fucking room where they put a card. Fucking swap it around. Fucking bullshit. Anyway, I'm not going to show you all of this because this is very tedious. I'll just jump to when we're done. Come on. Eh. 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 There you go. Sick. One of the most notoriously terrifying bits of taking apart a G4 12 inch is popping these keys off so that you can get to the fucking screws underneath because obviously when you're taking something apart you like to have to feel like you're breaking it to get it open it's good engineering practice to have that sort of design number f11 i hope it is i hope it is um i think i can see a screw under there there he is i've done this before so i'm not going in totally blind but i'm still shitting myself somewhat right that's that done and now just bash this bastard in and fucking give him a twist that's what my ex-wife said <laughs> i was slightly impressed by the way these keyboards look when you take them out i mean just look at that profile fucking centimeter thick tops pretty impressive but no backlighting so it's trash! It's unusable trash! This is a bit of a rant. If you're familiar with the PowerBook 1400 series or other models which had the same chassis because Apple in the 90s was an absolute clusterfuck, you'll remember that to take the RAM and the hard drive and the CPU out, all you had to do was slide a little panel over to the left on the top of the bezel the keyboard out and then you had access to all of those components without any screws and it was pretty fucking badass really i mean it's a shame those laptops weren't really great in any other aspect but with regards to the hardware they pretty much had it nailed but yeah on this power g4 which was released eight years after that computer i think the you just get a big slab of metal there's, an, there's a helipad for your helicopter if you've got one but otherwise, it's just holes and tinfoil. Look at that. I can't get a fucking macro zoom. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ooh, foil. There are 14 screws that need to be undone before I can get past here. 14 more. And I've already taken out about 20. So things are going pretty well, you could say. Okay, so we're at the next slightly scary bit of the video now is taking these ribbon connectors out and 
We've got one here, which has got a nice, nice handle on it. Can't see a fucking thing. Let's see if we can get this light to do anything. Uh, just pull that out gently. Is that broken? Nah, nah, we're good, we're good. And these, which I still can't see. There they are. Um, now, I've heard these are very, very fragile and stuck in like a bastard or a pair of a pair of bastard bollocks a pair of perfectly proportioned bastard bollocks so I'm going to use my really tactile tweezers to jump in there and try and get that out um, shit right um, this, is, this is quality YouTube content right here Fuck. Right, this might be too difficult to do with one hand, which pains me to say, as I have no tripod and no sense of where I'm pointing the camera, apparently. Um, yes, shit, I'm gonna have to get creative. Right, so with that fucking clusterfuck of a heart attack done, we can now get to the bit that we've been aiming for through all this fucking bullshit screwing and unscrewing and losing and re-losing bits and bastard bits upon bits of shit oh my god we're we coming out hey there we go oh, i just keep fucking back in oh oh right so this is possibly the first time this has been opened since it was made Ooh, that is quite exciting holy shit Wow. For those of you that aren't familiar with G4s, the thermal issues they had were somewhat unignorable, but regardless of that, still did a pretty good job of keeping them cool in these tiny, tiny little computers. Here's what we're looking for. And this is the original terrible, but Apple branded hard drive, officially 40 gigs, but you only get 37 because of the difference between gigabytes and gibibytes, <laughs> but again, that's not interesting. So let's do this. Get this out. Um, eh. And then I'm assuming that. Come on. Good. I'm not using the right bit. That's probably not helping. Motherfuckers. For those of you that can't tell, that was me using my mouth to uh, fucking put a screw bit in, which is classy. Eh. Oh, Jesus, that was tighter than expected. Here we go. <laughs> That's a good double entendre. You should put that in a meme. Um, okay. Let's go, let's go. Eh. Hopefully, this is going to be the last bit of screwing we have to do before we have to do it all again. <sighs> right, here we are. That's the hard drive. This sort of shit really pisses me off because the hard drive is the only, like, one of the only bits in the computer that actually has a defined death date, really. So, you know, all hard drives fail eventually, and this has got fucking tape with fucking cables glued onto it so I feel like I'm breaking it by taking it apart again which is just not not ideal come on mother managed managed to get that off without uh, fucking it up too much it's pretty good and we've got the cable we want we've got the adapter we want here we've got the card we want here Another bonus with this is, because there's no moving parts, the battery life should be quite a bit better when I actually get around to having a battery that works. Because my plan is to use this as a sort of non-distraction based computer for studying on. Because it's still quite sort of capable for note taking and stuff. Sorry, it's just, this is just me physically breaking as a person. Oh, Jesus Christ. Don't tell me this doesn't fit. If this doesn't fit, I'm going to have an aneurysm. 
update. It does fit. I'm just broken. There you go. In. Done. Um, right. This is going to be somewhat challenging, both for me emotionally and mentally. I've got the worst lighting setup in the world. Um, how the fuck is that going to go in there? Let's have a look. So I finally figured it out. It's it's there. Look, done. That's going to be a solid state drive. But one complaint is this adapter slash this fucking cable. There's nothing at all. Decide which way round this adapt this cable connects to this card here. There's just nothing at all to tell you which way it has to go. So I had to go back and look at the way this came off and see which of the missing because obviously all most I think I think all ID devices have a pin missing that's for for debugging or something like that or even for fucking telling you which way up it's supposed to be which would be the obvious thing I guess um, and this doesn't this doesn't have any block any gap in it in its connector to tell you which way up it has to go you're just sort of left left with it cool right uh, I think I think I think I can just put, pop it in and go. Is that going to work? It's a very brave move. Um, lots of room for antics in here now, so I guess that's going to be very annoying. I'm going to have to find a way of attaching that. Hmm. Hey guys, today I'm going to be reviewing this blue tech. It's a uh, well. What else is there to say? It's the economy pack edition. It's blue, it's tech, it's here, it's whack. Right, fuck me. Let's get into this. First, you're gonna want to take this blue shit and fucking roll it in your fingers like you have never rolled before. If you are a marijuana smoker, you will be familiar with this procedure, for sure. Slap it in wherever you want it to go. Push it in like you've got nothing else to live for. And then... It'll still rattle like a bitch. Um, I don't actually know if Blu-Tac conducts electricity. But I'm going to wing it and say it doesn't. And put a block in there. Where it doesn't look like there's much to be damaged. So, this is a truly Apple grade upgrade. I think if they had offered a solid state drive in 2003, they would have, they would have looked pretty much like this. Um... The whole computer would have looked like this, for sure. For sure. Right, I really, really don't want to put this back together until I know this drive is working. So now I have to find out if that's even possible. Yay! Just got to pop in the RAM. Um, that can fit in there, if it, if it will. Eh. <laughs> Right. Good. Good boy. Cool. Um, I really hope this works. This project is looking more and more like the workings of a madman by the minute. But we've got that in. We've got a green light, which I'm assuming is a good sign. Because any bad signs at this point would be ignored. And I think... I just have to lift this up and short out that. And it should start up. Right? Hello? Unless these are non... No, it's made of metal, Peter. It has to be conductive. Oh, there you go. Bam! We've got a bong. That means the RAM's working. Got a disc. I'm gonna put it in the fucking slot. If I can go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. The noisy, spinning shittiness of physical media. <whistles> Yay! I've often wondered why we stuck with CDs for so long. Now that they're gone from my life, I really don't miss them. I remember when the first IMAX came out that... Oh, hello. 
remember when the first IMAX came out, I was pissed off that they didn't have disc drives in them. The first new IMAX, that is. I remember fucking... Oh! Oh, no! You know, I've just realised... I've... Um, <laughs> I've, um... I've unplugged the fucking trackpad. So, if this does work, I'm not gonna be able to do very much. Hmm. Well, that's a solution for now. For those of you wondering why I'm still using a single button mouse in the year 2017, I would like to say, fuck you, because I want to. Um, this should have enough reach around for me to be able to... Eat. Oh my god, I'm worst at cameras. In we go. Smashing. Is it working? It's on. We good. Move all this shit. I am absolutely terrified of dropping this because it's got all the screws in. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. Okay. That's my sock shelf. Um. Are we getting somewhere? Come on. I mean, the fact that it's actually doing stuff is a good sign because it shows me that the RAM is there being used. That said, it could just be the 128 megs that's built in doing this. In which case, I would have an aneurysm and die, as previously detailed. Um, because RAM is not cheap, and I spent money on it, and I wanted to fucking work when I fucking wanted to. Come on. I just thought it was interesting how this really hasn't changed very much in the past 14 years. Oh dear, that's a lot of flickering, isn't it? Is that going to be visible for you? I hope not. Otherwise you'll be having aneurysms. Yeah, this really hasn't changed very much since 2003. I think they've been booting like this since 2000 now. It's, um... It's nice. It's a, it's a good bit of continuity. Sort of, uh... Feels, if it makes an upgrade feel like you're actually moving from one, from one era to the next. Great leaps forward. Oh, big jump in disc speed there. I'm hoping that's a good omen. I mean, really, really hope it's a good <laughs> omen. Um, this is taking a while. But then again, this is like a... 4x disk drive or something tragic like that. It can do DVDs though, which makes installing Tiger a whole lot easier. Um, but of course, if the Gigabyte is working, we can get Leopard going. And that'll be nice. And it'll feel a lot more crisp. What am I doing? Come on. Please. Please. Uh, well, what a great video this has turned into. Sorry, I'm going to give, give you something to do while this, this loads. The normal handled. <laughs> what am I fucking on about? <laughs> um, I am now getting increasingly more afraid about this computer. This nice white screen is giving you a bit of detailing of the... Uh, the way this LCD has died in the sun at some point. Um, and this fucking chip over here. All looking fine and dandy. Come on. Maybe it's looking for the full system. Like the actual keyboard and trackpad and stuff. And it's not finding the trackpad. And that's throwing it off. Oh! Oh! The disc stop spinning! Hello? In the words of my recently departed mother, Shit! It's working. It's preparing the installation. Working good. Let's go on about this Mac. The dream number is over a thousand. It's not letting me click it. I'm not allowed to click it yet. Hello? Do I have to continue? Then I'm allowed to click it? No? Oh dear. Well, it looks <laughs> looks like it's staying a mystery if the RAM's working for a while. Disk utility! 
Come on. Please be there. Please be there. Come on. Yes! 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 It's there. Look. There it is. 29.8 gigabytes. Yes! Let's erase this bit, boy. Um, Mac OS Extended Journaled. And we're going to call it... Hmm. Can I call it an SSD? Is that fair? Eh. This is an unusual typing experience, I will say. Macintosh SSD. Cool, cool. I'm gonna raise it. Bam. This doesn't work. I will kill myself on camera for money. Um. Oh. Oh. It's done. It doesn't have smart support, but, you know, it's a fucking ID compact flash card, what am I expecting? Fucking magic. Okay, here we go. Thank you, Shane. I don't need to check the disc. I live like a fucking madman. A fucking madman. Click skip check disc. Why did we get rid of CDs, man? They were the fucking tits. They were the fucking best in the world. You could just slam a whole fucking film on a disc. Tim, what is that noise? Mom, for fuck's sake, I'm installing the new Sims DLC. They've got cars now, Mom. They've got cars. I don't give a fucking shit. That noise is pissing me off. Uh, Mom, it's, uh, it's gonna change my life. Fuck you. I wish you'd been aboard it! <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Well. Um. I'm not gonna make you watch all of this. Just look at how fucking fast this is going. It's absolutely insane. Jesus Christ. I'd be very interested to see if we're getting anywhere near the 50 megabytes a second advertised. Because I think this is. Ultra ATA 66? Maybe? Um, I guess we can look it up. Just did a bit of tactical googling and found out that it turns out that the uh, Pabot G4 actually has ATA 100 which means it could do 100 megabytes a second. So, this might not even be Fast enough. Oh shit, it's done. I didn't even notice. Uh, wrong mouse. Go, go, go. This is it. This is the moment. I'm gonna see if the fruits of our labors have paid off. So I'm gonna check that disc as well. No, don't want to be off that disc. There you go. Come on. This is a Mac. With no moving parts. I don't think. Is that a fan on? Nope. Spooky. It's actually kind of weird. Oh, this is getting tense. I'm not liking how long this is taking. Hmm. Would be indicative of a lot of slow RAM. Come on. Oh, my fingers over the camera. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh. That's so slow. Oh, it's gone. It's <laughs> It didn't even stay on the bar. Decided it was done. Come on. Come on. Now the fans kicked in. Shit, I'm suddenly really hot. <laughs> right. Um I'm not I'm not feeling like this is a very Oh We're back in it, boys. Yeah boys Well, it's working. 
It lives! Um, password can be... Boobies. And confirm that that is boobies. And the tip shall be... Boobies. Okay. I hope no one hacks my Mac. Uh, that's not where I live. Hang on, will this be... There you go, that's much easier for you to see. Select my time zone. Nope. Yay. It's the stuff of nightmares. Oh, fuck.